Whenever I review a new battery charger, the most common question I get asked is how to power it. And the reason's simple, most chargers these days require an external power source. Now, that could be another battery when you're out in the field or a suitable DC power supply you plug in in the mains when you're at home. But now, Toolkit RC have brought out this M4 AC charger that's got its own internal 30 watt power supply, which means you can just plug it into the mains outlet and start charging. So this is mighty convenient and it's fantastic value for money. Hello and welcome to the Whirly Black channel. Toolkit RC are currently smashing it with their current range of battery chargers. And if you've watched my channel before, you'll know I've reviewed pretty much all of their chargers. And for good reason, I'm a bit of a fan. They've got a fantastic range of chargers that are generally aimed at the cheaper end of the market, but they're always feature packed and great quality. And they really listen to their customers and they bring out firmware updates pretty regularly. Now this new M4 AC charger is great because it's got its own internal power supply, which means you can plug it into the mains outlet and start charging without having to fiddle around and find a DC power supply. And this input is auto detect, so you can use anything from 100 volts to 240 volts AC. And that's perfect if you're traveling, although you might struggle traveling at the moment. And just look at this, it's fantastically small, it's just tiny. And at 19 pounds or around $25, it's fantastic value for money. I've been using this for a couple of weeks and for pure convenience, it's as good as this M6D, which is what I've been using most of the time for the last couple of months. Now this is a 4S 30 watt charger in one tiny little box, and it's just so simple. There's the mains input at the top, and at the bottom there's an XT60 and the balance connector at the bottom. And you can get this with an XT60 or an XT30 connector. To be honest, I'd go for an XT60 and make yourself a little adapter like this if you need to choose between the two. The display is Toolkit RC's usual IPS display. It's 1.54 inches and 240 pixels resolution, which has got a great viewing angle and it's very crisp and clear. And this is common of all of their latest range of chargers. By the way, the balance circuit on this is the updated version like they put on the M6D and the M4 version 2. And the balance accuracy on this is specced at less than five millivolts. You can charge any of the usual battery chemistries up to 4S, LiPo, high voltage LiPo, lithium ion and so on, and the storage charge, and it's specced at 25 watts charging power. So depending on the pack voltage, you can charge between half an amp and two and a half amps which is gonna cover the most common batteries that most of us tend to use. And that's the whole point and real value of this charger. It caters for what most of us use regularly. And I think this is a pretty smart move by Toolkit RC. It means all the esoteric features of the more expensive chargers have been left out, which keeps the price way down and delivers what's needed and most commonly used. And it's all fantastically easy to use. There's just this one button on the front and a few simple charge presets. At the top here, you've got the charge timer and the current status, which is standby, so I've got a battery plugged in. And you've got four cutoff voltages. 4.2 is for LiPo. 4.35 is for high voltage LiPo. 3.85 is for storage and 3.6 is for lithium ion. And you can cycle through these by just long pressing the button. Three point four point three five, three point eight five, three point six, and back to four point two. There's four current presets along the top here. It's half an amp, one amp, two amp, and two and a half amps. You just short press the button to cycle through them to select the one you want, like that. I'm going to leave that on one amp. Then all you need to do is get your battery and plug it in. So we are with this one. 
there we go and as soon as this charger detects when the balance port voltages match the main battery voltage it just starts charging you don't have to do anything the display clearly shows the charge voltage and the charge current here so that's 15.4 volts sorry 15.9 volts and 0.45 amps or so and over here let me find something to point with get my big fat finger out of the way it shows the cell voltage and how the balance circuit is doing and down here is the accumulator capacity that's being charged and the different colors on these cell blocks here it just shows how quickly the balance circuit is doing its job red means it's balancing fast and gray means it's balanced and not doing anything and these flutter about and change color during the charge cycle and will eventually settle down when it's fully charged to stop charging or change the current you just press the button and choose a different charge current cycle around them like that if you like and let me go to half an amp and then when it's ready it will just start all by itself I mean it's just so simple and the best thing is this remembers what the last settings were and that means you can just plug a battery in let's, see, let's try it so we had that on half an amp so if I just plug this in so I was charging battery after battery all the same battery just starts obviously you do need to keep an eye on what the charge voltage and charge current selected is selecting the wrong voltage could cause havoc just like on any other charger if you want to check the balance circuit calibration when it's off just press the button turn it on get to the splash screen and this gets you to the calibration page and you can tweak the balance voltage if you need to but with the latest Toolkit RC chargers, I found they're calibrated just fine out of the factory. The fact this doesn't have all the bells and whistles makes it ridiculously easy to use. And why aren't there more chargers like this? It's because Toolkit RC are listening to what people want. And if you're on a budget, this is pretty much all you need to get started even if you've got a load of other chargers it's worth buying one it's stupidly cheap and having a spare charger is never a bad thing i've been using this a lot recently and when you go back to other chargers it's sort of annoying there's so many buttons to press to start charging your batteries with this you just turn it on plug your battery in and off it goes you really can't fault talk it rc for the speed that they're delivering excellent new products at the moment and this is fantastic as always, thanks for watching and if you found that useful, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. And if you want to see more like this, remember to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when I post new content. I'll see you next time.